Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So we are going to continue in our exam week. I did a video um, referencing how I conduct our exam week from the point of determining the questions, determining how I should break down the um, different days, what's included, the format, the time allotted. I went into a lot of detail on that last video. So if you did not watch that, I'm going to ask that you look up right now on the right or left side of the screen. I'm going to put a card. That card will link you to the prior video. I recommend that you stop, watch that video so you'll understand what I'm doing here, and then come back to this video and continue. So what I'm going to show you is clips throughout our week um, for each of the exams that my son has taken. So what we're going to do right now is identify which exams you would like to take on each of these days. I already pre-selected what days you are doing your math and language arts. So Tuesday, I'm sorry, Thursday and Sunday you're doing math. Saturday you're going to do your English language arts and writing. Um, those are two different exams, okay? I'm going to be with you on those days, Tuesday, Saturday, and Sunday, to administer just so that I can make sure you're following directions and I can answer any questions that you may have as you're taking the exam. Okay? Of course, exactly. I won't answer the actual ones. So what you're going to do right now is you're going to take these little sheets of paper, and you are going to place them on the days you want to do those particular exams. Science, social studies, um, what was the other one? Enrichment. Enrichment, those are your electives and stuff. And the bonus. Bonus is comprehensive, all-inclusive. It can be multiple subjects. It could be one subject. It'll be a very fun way of taking um, a little bonus exam. But it will be used as extra credit for whatever subject is on it, okay? But again, it'll be interactive and it'll be fun. It's no, super it's simple like and easy. So, so go ahead and take the little cards and place them on what days you would like to do it. Hey! Just go ahead. What does enrichment have? Enrichment are your elective. So it can include personal finance or financial literacy. Mm -hmm. Financial literacy. It can include Bible, logic, stuff like that. So this is the exam schedule that he has finalized. Um, as I mentioned in the prior video, when it comes to math, English language arts, writing, those times and days are set because I actually will be there sitting there with him administering the exam just in case he has questions. I want to make sure he paces himself, make sure he follows the directions um, strictly to what it states. All the other exams, he can decide when he wants to take them. He can also change when he decides to take those exams as long as he does that before the day of the exam. So, for example, he has Friday science. He can change that to another day as long as um, he does it before Friday. Um, Monday, if he decides to switch science for social studies, he can do that as long as he does it before Monday. So I'm flexible in that approach as well. Okay, so now let's take a quick peek at some of the exam questions that I have come up with. So you remember this little brainstorming sheet from the prior video. I will not go over this. Again, look back at the prior video. So for our enrichment exam, what I would do is I would give him these little slips of paper. These little slips of paper just prepares him and lets him know what is going to be on the exam by question. So for the enrichment exam, we only have two questions, and he's actually going to do both of the questions. So what? let me read this one for you. So for the Bible exam, the question is going to be about the Old Testament books of the Bible and the exam question um, information and details. And again, again, I do this because I don't want him um, to feel anxiety and not knowing what the question is going to be about and getting all nervous. This just calms his nerve and lets him know some of the information that he can expect um, to be 
assessed during the question. So it just gives them an opportunity to just relax and um, think about what could potentially be on there because he knows the specific topic, okay? So the direction says, this will be an oral exam. Read each question and provide responses orally. Content, the exam question will cover the 39 Old Testament books of the Bible. Response method, provide responses orally when requested. Assessment, each response is worth one point, totaling 42 available points. Sorry for the background noise, guys. I, if I don't do this video now, it's just not going to happen. The exam question will assess the proper order and pronunciation of each book of the Bible. Allotted time, not applicable. So again, as you can see, it gives him directions. It tells him what's going to be on it, how he should respond, what I'm assessing, and if there are any time restrictions. So here are the exam questions that go with what I just read. There are three questions. How many books of the Bible are there? You will say 66. The Bible is broken into how many parts? Name each part. You will say two parts, Old Testament and New Testament. Name each Old Testament book of the Bible in order. You will start with Genesis and go all the way through Malachi. Okay? The next question on our enrichment exam is this. It relates to study skills, listening, and note-taking. So the direction says, this is an oral and written exam. Listen carefully to the selection and take notes. Create a graphic organizer to outline notes in proper sequence. Retail, narrate the selection back. Content, this exam will include note-taking skills and listening skills. Response method. Input responses on the sheet provided. Assessment. Each topic discussed is worth one point totaling 27 available points. This exam will assess note-taking, listening skills, and the ability to retell a story in proper sequence. So for this math exam, all I did was pull Math Mammoth, their grade 6 end of the year exam. And he should be able to complete all the questions except for the ones about statistical graphs. He's learned a little bit about that, but he has not learned anything yet about the area of a triangle, polygons, um, surface area, volume, um, statistical distributions, um, a measure of a center like circumference, statistical graphs. We have not touched on those things yet. So I'm not going to expect him to answer those questions, but if he learned it himself or if he remembers learning it through a curriculum like Life of Fred, which throws in a lot of different concepts um, within whatever they're reading or learning about, um, he can answer those types of questions and receive extra credit, but he won't be expected to answer questions related to that. And I've already identified that on the test. Exam, not test. This math exam is nothing more than our state, we live in Texas, so the state star exam. So what I did was I took the state star exam for from 2018 and I have identified the problems that he should be able to do based on what we have learned thus far and also based on some of the information or concepts that he has learned last year. Okay, so again, when it comes to the math tests and language arts, I do not create anything new. I just use our state exams. They make them available um, to the parents um, online, and I'll just pull it. And for the end of the year exam, I will just pull the current year's um, grade level exam, and we will do the same. Again, in the state of Texas, they make these exams available to us, so I just pull the prior year's exam for our midterm, and then I pull the current year's exam for our final. And I pulled the seventh grade, okay? So this is the seventh grade um, state exam. And again, this is, I think this is writing, yeah, this is writing. And this is for the seventh grade state exam that he will um, complete, okay? 
Hopefully the sound is a little bit better in here, not quite so noisy, although you still will hear background noise, guys. So for our science exam, we are doing anatomy and physiology this year. So this will take him from where we began to where we left off. And let me just go through a few of the questions with you so you can see how it's set up. So for this exam, it has 10 questions. However, he will only be required to decide which six he wants to do. So I'm going to show you all 10. And again, he's going to decide after only reading these slips here, he's going to give me six questions. And then I'm going to give him the six that he um, chose from this packet here so that he can complete. I won't read it all, but I will read just a little bit to you. So for the first question, he can decide if he wants to do an exam on the human anatomy cell. The, the directions say, this will be a written exam. You are allowed to use your notes and notebooking journal to complete the labeling portion of the exam. Color and label the human cell on the back of the worksheet. Explain, not just define, the below key terms. And then the terms are here. It tells him the content, the response method, assessment, allotted time. There's no um, time allotted for this. He can take as long as he um, needs. The next one is about the blood. Question three, the makeup of the blood. Question four is the human body system. Question five that he can decide to do is the skeletal system. Then we have the digestive system, eating the digestive organs, and the renal system. So let me show you the exam questions themselves. And all I did, um, as I mentioned in the video, is I will just go through whatever resources, textbooks that we are using, supplements that I may have in my home that we may not have touched yet, but the topics included in that particular resource. I'll just go through it and pull out questions and things that I think would um, give me an understanding as to whether or not he fully has mastered and understood certain topics. So if he chose this exam question, um, the cell anatomy, he would just color the different parts, label the different parts. And on the back, he would have to define those key terms. Okay. And in some instances, I gave him some clues, like, for example, Golgi bodies, to help him remember what that was. I said, think of a grocery store. Okay, for the ER, um, that's pronounced endoplasmic reticulum, he would have to think of a delivery truck and a garbage man. For the cell membrane, think of the wall of Jericho. So those are the things that we referenced and we spoke about when we were talking about this topic, so that will just help jog his memory. If he did a question on the blood, here are the questions. The first one says, listen to the selection about the blood, write notes as you listen, create a graphic organizer, or draw a diagram about the information within the selection. So after he does all that, he would then have to answer the questions. What is the responsibility of the red blood cells? What about the responsibility of the blood? What are red blood, where are the red blood cells found? What are their purpose? Blood is made up of three things. What are they? Do cells reproduce, copy themselves, or regenerate? Explain. Sorry for the camera moving so much. Explain the role of the centrioles, if I'm pronouncing that properly. Using the drawing and information gathered from your response um, um, and the selection that was read, explain the, import, explain the importance of blood and the red blood cells. Okay. The makeup of the blood, this question is draw, um, color, and label three things that make up the blood. Write about the drawing and explain everything you know in detail to include the importance of each. So this is talking about the three things that basically make up the blood, which is your plasma, your red blood cells, and your white, white blood cells and platelets. So you have to draw that, write it out, explain what all that means.
year, although, you know, he had a set number of questions and I only required him to do a set number, he went ahead and did more than what was required. So if he does that, that's just extra credit. If he gets it right, it's extra credit. If he gets it wrong, he doesn't get the credit, but he will be required to redo the response. And he, again, he still will get the credit when he redoes it, but I just want to make sure he understands the information. The questions that he does not answer, all I do is I just bring them right back in our learning journey um, through a lesson. Because we do quizzes, we do tests throughout the year. So this is not a shocker to him when he receives the information. He may have to synthesize information based on everything he's learned about in order to put things together, analyze, and provide a response. But, he, but we have spoken about them. So for the questions that he does not respond to in the exam because he doesn't have to, they will um, come right back up through a quiz or through exam at some point in time. Um, the second part of the year. And this is the last one, social studies. So if he does this question here, this question is time zones. Then we have the five themes of geography, mapping and time zones, um, North and South America, general geography, um, state facts. So there are six questions. He's only required to answer four of them. And let me just have you quickly read them. going to do the enrichment exam. So let's go ahead with the Bible question. Oral response. Mm -hmm. How many books of the Bible are there? 16. How many books of the Bible are there? 36. So the Bible has 36 books. Is that what you just said? Yeah. <clears throat> For the Old and New Testament, how many books of the Bible are there? 65. So your response is 65, correct? Sure. Okay. Okay, so we got Are you changing your answer to 66? Yes. No. Which one would you like? 66 or 65? 65, sir. So you're sticking with 65, correct? The Bible is broken into how many parts? Name each part. The Bible is broken up into two parts, the Old Testament and the New Testament. Name each Old Testament book of the Bible in order. Go ahead. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Hold on, let me see. Slow down. I want you to read on that little slip of, slip of paper where I explained to you um, the format of our exam. I want you to read the assessment, the second sentence where it says, this exam, question will. Okay. Okay, so it's not only order, it's pronunciation. pronunciation. Okay. okay, so let's go ahead. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua. So you said you wanted to go back to that first question. How many books of the Bible are there? Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So what do you want to do? <clears throat> um, 65 to 66. So you want to change it to 66? Is that your final answer? Okay. Okay. Alrighty, so let's go ahead. Is there anything else you want to do? Do you want to redo um, saying the Old Testament books of the Bible in order again or no? No? You're okay with what you have? Yes, good. Okay. So now we're going to go to study skills. So go ahead, take a look at the slip so you know what you can expect. 
<laughs> so yes, you're correct. This is my life. Yes, this is how your day should actually flow. So I'm going to give you a moment to look at your notes. Again, I know you like to um, draw things visually for your note taking and I am a-okay with that. But this time while I'm reading, the second time, I want you to focus on two things. Making sure each event is represented and each event is represented by the correct words, not just pictures. Okay? And then you're going to have an opportunity to write out the activities in bullet form, in words, and then tell me the events that took place this particular day. So I'm going to read the selection one more time. Let me know when you're ready. And I see you still doing a little bit of writing. So let me know when you're ready. Day number two. So we finished enrichment yesterday. Great. Today is social studies and your bonus extra credit. So you want to do the extra credit first? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it is cahoots. You're going to have 20 minutes of cahoots, which is going to prepare you for multiple exams throughout the week. Okay? So with cahoots, you're going to get a few minutes on each subject, and then the number of points that you earn will equate to um, a certain number of extra credit or bonus points for that particular exam. What were you gonna say? But obviously you're gonna have obviously you're gonna have to um like if it was like ten thousand or maybe two points. Yes, so ten thousand points equals one point. Twenty thousand points equals two points. Thirty thousand points equals three points. A hundred thousand points equals ten points, right? So that's how we're going to convert it. How but you're only gonna have fifteen minutes to get through as many as possible. It is possible. Not for each subject combined. Yes, you can. Stop saying you can't. Let's try. So, here are the social study questions. I think there's a total of, um, let me see, seven, okay, six. There's a total of six questions. Come pick four out of these six that you want to complete and then I will hand you over those specific exam questions after you do your kahoot bonus and then the remaining two you can decide if you want to um, get additional bonus points specifically for your social studies exam or you can decide not to do it not to do the other two okay so let's go ahead and choose you're looking real relaxed for take, getting ready to take an exam. <laughs> Where are you going to take your exam? Where do you want to take it? In your room. No, you're not taking it in my room. Yes, yeah, so I can put no, it in No, because room. I'm going to be in the room with the baby and we're going to be loud. You need complete silence. Yeah. And the library is closed today. The media room. In the media room? I'm I cool mean, with not that. in the media room. It's like mm -hmm. homeschool room. Okay, homeschool room. No problem. Okay. So you're going to read what that test is going to, what that exam question is going to be about. So it doesn't tell you the exact exam question, but it just gives you some information so that I you can decide. Today? No, you have, you're only choosing four questions out of the six. Oh. And yes, the four questions, go ahead and just get it done today. Normally you can spread your questions out if you want to do two today, two tomorrow, that well, would be okay. Tomorrow, exactly. Tomorrow. Because you have math tomorrow, your ELAR and writing it's Saturday amazing. and Sunday and other math, it's uh, going to be a bit difficult to spread it across. Especially um, Friday you have science. Yeah. I think I just doubled up, doubled up on one of those days I just said. but <laughs> Did you just say you want to go ahead and do all six? What? Are you sure? Yeah, sure. That doesn't sound sure. Okay, yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Let me give you the questions. The ones that are oral, I'm going to go ahead and administer that. And then you have the ones that say written exam and audio recorded exam. Okay? 
So let's go ahead and do cahoots, and then we'll do the oral first, and then you can go upstairs and do all the ones that do not require my um, presence. Let's go. Define natural resources and define fossil fuel. Uh, <clears throat> is, is there a country that is physiographically in, the, in North America but isn't really part of North America? Explain. You mean like Hawaii and Alaska? Yeah, I'm going to repeat the question. Is there a country physiographically in North America but it is not a part of North America. Explain. Greenland. Okay, go ahead. Explain. Is there, label it here if, if you think that's the answer. And explain to me why you gave me that answer. Okay. Go ahead. Is that Greenland? I'm not telling you where Greenland is. You tell me. If that's what you think it is. So you said you want to change your answer? Yeah. Okay, so what do you want to do? If, what, what do you want to change it to? I would like to change my answer to yes. There is a state that is, I mean, there is a country that is, um, that is technically a part of North America. But, okay. But does it... What is the country? Greenland. Okay. Anything else you want to tell me about Greenland? It actually belongs to Denmark. So you're saying belongs to Denmark? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you just go ahead and label it? Where is it located? Greenland? Yep. Okay, so with this question here, I asked you to identify at least three countries in South America. You've identified Brazil, Argentina, and Colombia. Do you want to identify any others? Are you... I can't, well, I can't remember. You can't remember any others? Yeah, I can't remember any others. Okay, so, okay, so is that it? Correct. Do you want to review any of their responses? to this particular exam question? No, I think I'm good. Okay, so now we're going to do number three. I'm going to give you a city. I'm sorry, not city. I'm going to give you the capital or the state, and you have to give me um, the corresponding capital or state. Okay, here we go. St. Paul. Minnesota. Missouri. Jefferson. Jefferson. Montana. Hello. Lincoln. Nebraska. New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Concord. Carson City. We'll come back to it. Trenton. Trenton, New Jersey. Very good. Carson City. <clears throat> Very good. So we did all A's through N. 
you got one wrong. Are there any other um, capitals and states that you learned, yeah. maybe independently, mm -hmm. that you want to um, tell me as bonus points? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas. Texas. Okay, so today is math day. Oh, excuse my voice. I am sick. <laughs> But um, today is math day, part one. You have four hours to complete it. Do not take four hours um, to complete this test. It can take you way less, maybe half that time. If you choose to take four hours, that's because you're taking breaks, you're resting, maybe a nap, maybe a brain break, whatever, in between um, every segment of the test. Read the directions carefully. Don't forget, underline keywords, circle numbers, double check your work. When you double check your work, if you get an answer, plug it back in to make sure that answer is correct. Okay? okay. Um, we already went over the questions. You already took five minutes and jotted down all the formulas, all the equations that you remember to help you along the test. Don't forget to, well, the exam, sorry, the exam. Don't forget to go back and review those whenever you need to. All right? So there are eight science um, exam questions. As you know, each um, exam question could have multiple questions within one, right? So I want you to read and tell me which five you want to do. You're only required to do five out of the eight. Of course, just like with other exams, um, and excuse me, I'm still sick, okay? But just like with other exams, if you choose to do additional, um, so if you want to do six or seven or eight, those will be extra credit. It's up to you if you want to do it. So take a look at it and tell me which five you want to do. I will give you the exam questions and with these. So do you want to read them to see what it includes or you got this? I got this. So let me see the ones you did not choose. So cell anatomy. This one says you're allowed to use your notes. <laughs> no, 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 no. This one is the blood. This, oh, all you had to do was just draw out the three different, um, um, Components of the blood, which is like, which were what? Oh, Tell me. the plasma. Yeah. No, no, I want to no, do no, that no, one. No, 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 I, no, no, I can no. do six. Okay, uh, okay, I, I, I really wanted to do that project. Okay, okay. So the makeup of the blood, mm -hmm. it says here what makes up the blood. Okay. Oh, no, this, okay, no, look, this is the one you want. This is the one of, um, which is about the makeup of the blood, which is the, what you were plasma. saying, plasma, the cells and stuff. This one is um, a writing assignment. You try. And then this one is the labeling of the cell anatomy using your notes. So you don't want that one, correct? Yeah. All right. So let me give you the questions. Okay. So you are only supposed to choose five. You chose six. One will be extra credit. Can you look at all of them and tell me which one you would like for me to do as extra credit? This one, obviously. So you want the easiest one Wait, no, for makeup? No, no, extra credit. No, because if I do the longest one for extra credit, then I'll get more extra credit. I don't That's know. I'm not gonna let you look at the questions yet. Look at the um, slips of paper, which again tell you a summary of what the exam question is going to be about, but it won't tell you the exact question. And let me know which so one you would like the, for extra credit. I should pick the hardest for extra credit. I don't credit, know what so you should it, pick. So it doesn't. Um, Take a look at it. Read the one that says content. And the one that says assessment and directions. Well, the whole thing. <laughs> so you this can. This one definitely. Which one? Because it, cause it focuses on all six body systems. It'll okay. Be slightly harder. So. I won't tell him which one to double check, but as I peruse it, if I see anything that stands out that is incorrect, incomplete, um, sloppy, um, or whatever. I will recommend that he goes and completes um, the double checking process.
because he has some time remaining. And again, excuse my voice, I am trying to recover. <laughs> also, I'm gonna go ahead and put this little game here for him to play if he needs to take a little break or whatever. I forgot to show you that um, for his math exam, but normally for the exams that, or test that he takes, that takes um, quite a while to complete where I give him a set amount of time, I will go ahead and give him little brain games. This is a really cool um, brain teaser. It is actually hard. This specific one, which was number one, okay? This specific one right here took me about four, three, three minutes. Three minutes to complete. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. <laughs> but I like to play these. We have two sets, um, different kinds, same concept. And we will time each other um, and play like a competition at dinner time or a family night. Um, my husband, myself, um, Jeremiah, and I might get another one as my other children get older. We'll go ahead and get more sets so we can play against each other. But this just gives him an opportunity to, to just take a break um, if he needs to take a break during his exams. Again, we do this for test as well within our home. We have other little logic games. I'll link a video right now, look on the right or left hand side, where I um, did some critical thinking um, games that we use or logic games that we use within our home. I'll link that also. I have them for toddlers, elementary, middle school, all fun things, all fun things. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and let him get started. You did say you wanted to go ahead and just start on one of your ELAR exams, which is for tomorrow. So go ahead and I will let you go ahead and take a look at each one. One is writing, one is your basic language arts and grammar. And then you can tell me which one you want to begin today. I, I saw reading comprehension, instant no. Reading comprehension is instant no? Yes. <laughs> editing. Is that reading comprehension I see? No. Well, yeah, it has a little bit of reading and comprehension, yeah, but your writing has vocabulary and spelling in it and a writing assignment and revising and editing a paragraph, finding errors. The um, language arts is it. basically um, reading comprehension. I'll do that. I'll do um, revising and editing. So you want to do the writing exam? Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to finish it or are you just going to start it and then just start it? And then tomorrow you'll finish it with the other ELAR. Is that correct? All right, all right, all right. You did it. Oops, oops. <laughs> no, it's not. All right. So you ready to go back to your science and then start some of your writing? Yeah. All right. Bye. I'll leave it here for you. <laughs> awesome job.